Hey everybody, Case Games here, otherwise known as Case Every you prefer to call me, and today we are back playing The Sims 2. Let's play Placement View. In today's episode, we are with the Dreamer household. Um, so, this episode, I don't really know. I'm, I'm gonna be showing you the new house. Um, obviously, as you know, Dustin isn't here because he's a fugitive on the run. Um, which Brandy hasn't heard from him since like she found out that he didn't manage to get to the cells. Um, Brandy's been a little bit stressed about it, but you know, I mean, it was on her and Darren's wedding day, so they are married now. But this is the house, so both of their funds together, they could afford this house and I decorate it. So this is Betty's room, Bo's room, Darren and Brandy's room, and then downstairs you have um, the living room. Um, and then like a little study room and the kitchen and that and then down here Darren has his own little painting room um, his own little artiste area which I got this mural thing and I placed this one on the floor because I thought it was like a funky version of Brandy I don't know I just yeah and then this was supposed to be dark and um, Dustin's room oh he can't get to that um, but obviously, Dustin isn't here, so I'm actually going to go ahead and sell Dustin's bed. There's no point in keeping that. Um, so it is just Dirk's room, but Dirk's going to be going off to uni in this episode. Anyway, it's going to be his last little episode with us. Why? Come here. I don't know why she isn't picking Betty up. She's going to get everyone some breakfast get everybody some breakfast um she does want to study about pe guys out on motorbikes um she does want to study about parenting but you know we're gonna make some smart milk for Betty and we're gonna quickly use the toilet while she is Drinking that, and then I think we might teach her to talk. Did we already teach her to walk? Yeah, we did. Got married to Darren or Rich Sam. Was Darren a Rich Sam? <laughs> um, yeah, Brandy's also a grandparent now. She, uh, Angela had Danny in the last episode, in the last part. Um, obviously Angela must have came over and introduced her um, to Danny, you know, um, obviously she probably wanted to meet her granddaughter, so yeah. Um, Dark, we're going to focus on some of his skills, get him some scholarships and stuff like that. Obviously we'll have to quit, quit his job as a security guard when he leaves for university. I know it says that he's got six days but he hasn't, it's just the way that the parts have worked out. Um, he is going to uni at the end of this part to go and stay with Lilith. Uh, Um, we are going to get Darren a job. In fact, we're going to get him a part-time job um, because we do need help with paying the bills for this house and we have three mouths to feed, basically, and soon to be fourth because I do want to get Brandy pregnant in this part because her and Darren do want a baby. Um, so we'll try and see if we can get him locker here. No. Um, architecture. We'll do that because like it's kind of his kind of art. I think he would be an interior designer though, but I don't think you can get that as a part-time job. Um, in fact, you know what? Bun that. Career, select job, and we'll just, hold on, it was right there. 
interior design. Yeah, I, I would rather him be a uh, interior designer. Um, I think he is gonna dispose of that. Is she a way to work? She is. Did she manage to teach Betty to talk? She did. So we'll teach Betty and I'll show you And then I think Darren will have Betty's needs. She does need the toilet. Can Bo empty that? He can't. He is pretty hungry too. Um, and he's socials down. Why don't you just come and watch some TV then now? Um, Dark, if you could do me a massive favour please and empty this out and then you can just use the upstairs bathroom. And then obviously I'll get Darren to make something to eat then. Um, and then, hold on, I'm just going to go ahead and move this. So, because I don't think he could actually have got to the toilet. And then he's going to take Betty to the potty and serve some barbecue chicken and fries, because that sounds good. Um, you can actually use the toilet as well. When you're done, um, stop watching the news guy, because he's obviously an asshole. In fact, do you know what you can do? Play some SSX free. Oh, I'll cheer you up a little bit. Oh come on. Surely she's done it now. She has. It's a little bit sad because Betty Be isn't staying across from Rocco. Oh! Betty will be aging up in this part actually. I forgot Rocco's a child now. Play fetch. Oh, and she got some money. So yeah, she'll be. I forgot Betty will be aging up in this part. Good thing I'm doing all her toddler skills. Oh, I'm so excited for her and Rocco. They're gonna be like soulmates. Betty, when you're done, why don't you play with that? Betty wants to kind of be like her mum. I think when she's see these guys on the motorbike, I swear to God, they're so loud. Um. I think when Betty's older, she kind of wants to own a cafe and stuff and kind of accomplish what her mum didn't. I don't know yet. Well, I, I don't know. But I think Be Be uh, Betty would go down the more like bakery route, whereas Brandy wanted like a fine restaurant and stuff like that. But he is making the kiddos a lunch and something to eat for himself too. Dark is actually starving, to be fair to him. Um they're all going to die from starvation and the weather is terrible but we are going on in the first day of summer no don't do it oh I mean there's a ceiling over there actually it's not too bad okay, come and eat that everyone come and eat I mean that can get put away Um, and you can also, when you're done eating, put that away. And after you're done eating your food, we'll see if you guys are still hungry. Um, I don't think he's going to get any decent scholarships. One, two, three, four, five, six. You might not even get any. Honestly, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Why, why can't you play with that? Because of the box? We'll... we'll there, problem solved. What about now? Yeah, use the toilet. And then, if I drink your baby ball, and then use the toilet. And I think I might have done that by accident. Her needs weren't all that way down a minute ago. So we'll just put them back up. Wake up, man. Oh, she will age up in just one day at 6 p.m. Should we just throw her a birthday party when um, Brandy comes home? I think we will, you know. And get Bo to answer the phone. Bo's shard, man. I'm going to get the kid to go for a nap. He is knackered. I love Bo's little hat. He's so cute. 
No, Mortimer, Darren is not available to talk right now. He is busy. Dart, you come in and practice your logic skills, please. And Darren's just gonna clean everything up. Da, 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 da. He's gonna go for a toilet and then jump in the shower if they're gonna be throwing a party. Um, I am going to quickly. No, stop, man. I want the microwave. Why is that not working? There we go. And they're gonna. Uh, cake, 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 cake. A little orange cake for some bester. Bester? Bit. Stir. And then we're gonna stick that in there as well. Because we don't need it just now. Um, when Brandy comes back, she is going to throw party, birthday party. And we'll get the party on the road. Um, I am going to cheat Betty's needs. Just so she's awake and alive. Um, alright, let's invite Nina, Dina. We'll invite Sid. In fact, we won't invite Sid. Things are, he's not really invited to these <laughs> kind of parties. It's a bit of a touchy subject. Um, will we invite Cassandra? And then she'd meet Rocco. And it would kind of push her over the edge to move out. Yeah, we're doing it. Do, 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 do. We're not inviting Dawn. Because Bun Dawn. Be like, oh, Dan invited Cassandra. I don't know if she was coming. Sorry. Um, right, well, in this case, then we are gonna go start playing with the little rabbit, and um, we're gonna come and hold Bay, and also I'll I'll redo our room when they go to sleep or something. It can be a kind of joint like Betty's birthday party, and Dirk will be leaving. So everyone is here for the party. I quickly um did. Fix up Betty's room, just gave her some stuff and that, though, so because she's gonna be a child. Um, so this is gonna be get really awkward for everybody in a minute, because obviously, um, Nina and Rocco over here talking to Dark, and then Cassandra, who is pregnant with Dawn, is talking to Dina. So you know, and Brandy's gonna be a bit like, oh, okay, Darren must have invited Cassandra. Rocco's like, I'm getting snacks, Auntie Brandy, and because I am. Hungry. But I think we're just gonna quickly come and bring Betty to the cake. And all that good stuff. Like, see, like, Cassandra's only, we've only just found out Cassandra's pregnant and already she's got a big bump because she's a different kind of lot. This is probably awkward for Cassandra as well because she's never met Rocco before and, like, it's her stepson to some degree. Pleasant she was mad, man. Honestly, getting kind of head to get here full of blood lines. Time for Betty to age up. Oh, I'm excited. Rocco's buzzing for her. Oh, can't even see the cutscene. This is great. Oh, she looks really cute. Let's just quickly. What was? Let's just quickly. Um. In fact, our everyday wear is actually all right. She's having some cake, and then I think she's gonna pee because she really needs to talk about. Um, Brandy, why don't you come grab a slice? You can grab a plate as well, Dark. You too. Um, Bo, what are you doing? You can wake up and come and grab a bit. And then I think she's gonna... Oh my god, she can give Rocco cooties. 
Oh, that's so cute. Bo's just coming downstairs like, hi, I've woken up from a nap. <laughs> Oh, I'm so buzzing for their little friendship. That's just Cassandra, obviously, must be getting to know Rocco. I don't know. Oh, I'm so buzzing for their friendship. You don't even understand. They're gonna be so cute together. So, I'll let them chat and they can play some um another pillow fight oh wait no i need it i need it i need it this is the first time i've seen them hug his children hold on oh wait oh my god wait hold on oh my god i'm in love with them not the fact that, yeah, move, just, yep, yeah, ignore that comment. Okay. So I think Darren's gonna gossip with Cassandra, you know, um, chat with her, see how she's doing, talk to the baby. Dark, you kinda need to pee, mate. Um, so why don't you use the toilet and then why don't you play some darts? I think we'll make a potion, or maybe actually Betty. I don't know. We'll make it one of their rooms, um, so that the baby can have a room upstairs close to Dan and Brandy. And um, Brandy is actually gonna come over and um chat to Nina, and make sure she's keeping okay. And stuff like that. And then we're going to introduce her to Cassandra and stir the pot. <laughs> they two are so cute. They're playing cops and robbers. Of course, you know I'm buzzing about my gal being here. You know how much I simp over this woman. Like, what are you, what are you lads doing? They're just awkwardly staring at each other. Just tell you, you're looking good, you're looking better if you spoke to Sid. <laughs> Just like, kind of, a little bit. Gossip, they're gossip about the police officer, of course, and then introduced to Cassandra. So, we'll go and introduce her to Cassandra. Oh my god. It's like, Cassandra, this is um Nina, the one I accidentally told you about. Oh, yeah, she has a kid with her. We're done. Yeah, we'll um, let you guys work it. Okay, they just kind of just didn't even want to speak to each other. Brandy is going to clean up the place a little bit. She is also shattered. Bo, how are you feeling now? Why don't you watch some TV? Oh my god, it's 12 a.m. actually. Half of you get to bed, man. Sleep. Sleep by a rock all the time you go to bed. Yeah, you're, you can go to sleep too. Um, and you guys can move her in a minute. When everyone leaves. Um, go to the toilet though. And you watch some TV. Mm -hmm. And clean. So yeah, it probably kind of sucks that Nina and Brandy aren't next door neighbours anymore really, but I mean, they'll get through it. I thought my audio had stopped recording ages ago then and I was about to cry, but it's fine, it hasn't. I just don't trust anything when I'm recording anymore. I'm just going to fast forward time here until these guys leave. Actually, Brandy, could you also clean that up? And uh, clean that up. And clean that up. So they two are talking. She's obviously, she was obviously explaining to Cassandra, like, yeah, I raised them myself. Dawn, like, sent me money now and again. I hope that isn't a problem. And I think Cassandra was like, no, no, I get that. It was 
in a room. I just, uh, I don't understand why he didn't tell me, and I, Nina's probably explaining to her, like, I'm not gonna lie, I think it's when you guys were together. Um, but you know, it is what it is. Right, you come and relax here. And then you come and relax here. Don't leave the TV on, Darren. He has, he's left the fucking TV. These goddamn lazy sims, I tell you what. I'm doing my boxing. I'm gonna fast forward time. Get them upstairs to do woo woos. Brandy, it's just turning the TV off, love. It's not difficult. Brandy's testing my patience. Get up. No, try for a baby. Look, see, like. I know Brandy has the fear. <laughs> the fear. I know Brandy has the fear. Oh no, it went away. But she did have the fear of having a kid. But it went away. I don't know why she got it. It must have just been a glitch or something. And let's just fast forward time and see if she's pregnant. Is she? No! Is she? Hold on. I don't know if she has. I'll check in the morning when they're all awake. I will cut back when they'll wake up. Dark has returned from his final day at at school. Um, because he is going to uni. Um, so we're literally going to get him to have some lunch. And we're going to also pack up some of his things. So... I thought I did have a photo of him and Lilith, but obviously he didn't have one. So I think we're going to take like the stereo and the mirror. Um, we'll keep the workbench here because that's just too much to take and we'll keep the dartboard and obviously phone here. Um, yeah, we'll keep everything like that here though. Um, I has fun as a little crap, so we'll get him to play on that and then what we will do in a little while is we will get him to apply for some scholarships um brandy is just getting her skill up after she gets this one up i will move on and i'll let her work on her creativity we'll scrap darren's painting probably won't be too happy about it but it's fine go on in fact, we'll also teach Betty to do her homework. Maybe, we'll see. She has home.
<laughs> Let's get dark to leave for you then. Call college. Bay is actually gonna clean up for mama. Help mom out and clean up the dishes. Move to college. Yes, I am sure. And he's off. I care to clean the place after. Dark is left. He's off to uni. He's going. Oh, look at Darren. He's like, goodbye, son. I'll miss you. He's probably going to be a little bit heartbroken. His oldest child, and only child at the moment, has now officially left for uni. And on that note, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. If you did enjoy, please make sure to smash the like button and comment down below any ideas or anything like that. And also subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you never miss when a new part is uploaded. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. One, two, three. Fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you.